Go. Freddie, how are you today? <laughs> Very good. I always, uh, I always enjoy a strong entrance. <laughs> now listen, you've been a veteran in this business here now. The business of killing. How did you get involved in this? Well, business of killing, I don't know. It beats working. <laughs> Everybody looks up to certain people. Uh, well, first of all, part two, you became an entrepreneur, a real businessman. You had to start people taking over their bodies, and they did the dirty work. Is that true? I mean, is, are you a real entrepreneur now? Didn't want to get my hands dirty any longer, so I had people work for me. Yes, this is true. Very true. A couple of, couple of cute kids out there doing my, uh, doing my bidding. Now, everybody, of course, looks up to somebody in their, in their life. They, they have role models. Do you have a, a monster that you particularly uh, enjoy, you look up to? A uh, monster I particularly enjoy. Uh, Allie McGraw? <laughs> now, your childhood, a happy one? Uh, it's a very interesting childhood, very convoluted. Uh, tell you what, you check out Nightmare Part 3, The Dream Warriors, the entire backstory. Some people have to see. Mm-hmm. At your local theater soon. <laughs> now, what makes you good? And what you do? Uh, what makes me good? I don't know. I think it's uh, I think it's in the backswing. You know, before the thrust, just before for the backswing, the follow through. Yes, I think that helps. That's a pretty familiar motion out of people, isn't mm -hmm, it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then a little bit of up up movement at the end there. But that's that's basic basic technique. Now, like any successful person, do you have any career goals? Uh, career goals? Yes, I'd uh, I'd like to do the Joan Rivers show. Mm -hmm. Got some things I'd like to say to Joni. <laughs> talk. Now, of course, like any successful person in Hollywood, you must have an agent now, right? You've had two big films, and you got an yes, agent? Yes, uh, I, uh, I was managed by Linda Blair for a while, but I'm, uh, I'm with the Jason agency right now. Now, Dracula has the old silver stake. That's what he's scared of. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what can kill you? What, what do you fear? Uh, not silver stakes. Uh, fool's gold. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so or working for scale, either. <laughs> now, people who haven't seen uh, Nightmare 1 and 2... Uh, can you tell us basically what the, what the story's about? What's happening with Nightmare? Well, basically, Mr. Kruger, that's, uh, that's who I portray, <laughs> as if you didn't know. Uh, Mr. Kruger is avenging uh, two wrongs that don't make a right. Uh, he did some pretty nasty things, got off our legal system, uh, supported his viewpoint. And then the, uh, the Neighborhood Parents Teachers Association uh, decided to punish Fred with fire. And Fred's been punishing them ever since. Now, where is Elm Street? Elm Street's about four blocks below Sag, just below Sunset, uh, east of La Brea. Yeah. Now, why, how did you choose to come to people in their dreams? That's pretty unique. Well, Freddie was on his way, uh, I don't know if we can say this uh, on HBO, down there. <laughs> he never quite made it. He's in sort of a sequel purgatory. And uh, the best way for him to uh, invest himself, so to speak, is in, in the dream state. He takes advantage of people's flaws and weaknesses in the dream state. Now, essentially, in a, one of the films, it said that you are evil itself, and that you, uh, that you live off people's fear. Is that true? Mm, yes, I mean, stand-up comedians, they like laughs. I like, I like screams. Yes. Now, in part two, you, were, you killed some people in a gym, parties, a house. Uh, what's happening in part three? Do you have any tropical locations in mind? Oh, yes, we've, uh, Puerto Vallarta. Yes, Freddy's a reign of terror in Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> is that, that going to be part of your contract negotiations next time? Yes, I think in part four, uh, Freddy's going to try to get to the Bahamas. <laughs> a, a question that I think a lot of people want to know is how do you keep those nails so sharp? And last question, do you have any beauty tips for our ladies at home? Cosmos? Beauty tips, yes, beauty tips. Uh, kerosene. Mm-hmm. Lots of baby oil. Okay, now and just look right in the camera and just tell us again who you are. Red Kruger. At your neighborhood theater. Sue. <laughs> okay. Now, is this too